Ironworks. For this week's upload, we're going to be showing you how to make Molnir or Thor's hammer. Uh, mine's a little bit different than the traditional. It's got a longer hammer handle on it. Um, according to lore, it's supposed to have a shorter handle because it was actually a mistake. Uh, I'm not going to get into all that with you guys. This is my version. Uh, it's cool. Everybody likes it. Uh, they sell really well. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it. You don't necessarily have to have a forge. Simple tools can make this. Um, I'm going to use the forge, taper the end of it, put a loop, and uh, twist it. And then we'll actually move over to the polisher and I'll show you guys a little bit of that. Uh, it's all very relatively simple, uh, but it's a really cool project. Uh, sorry for the late upload. I typically try to do something at least once a week. Um, however, this last week we had a bit of tragedy. The family shop, or, or our family shop that's been in the family since the 60s, it was built by my great-grandfather, uh, burned to the ground this last week. And with it, a lot of memories, just really tragic for our family. Fortunately, nobody was hurt physically. Uh, however, vehicles, my grandmother's vehicle, my late grandfather's truck were both underneath the carport. They were used as daily drivers and they only had liability. They're both total losses. Um, in the shop, my dad actually had his truck um, and his Harley totally gone. I mean, it was just a, a really devastating fire. There's no cause. Fire investigators haven't ruled out arson. Um, we're hoping that it's not that, but then again, what can you do? Everything's gone. And, uh, but fortunately, everybody's okay and we're going to do what we do best, which is rebuild. And so, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys some slides uh, either before this segment or after. I'm not sure yet. It'll come up in the editing. And uh, so if I'm speaking past tense, then just forgive me. And uh, anyway, let's get started. Thank you. So here you can see mine that I wear all the time. Um, it was the first one really that I'd ever done. It's not perfect, but you know what? It doesn't have to be. It's art. You wear it. It gets a lot of attention. It's cool. It doesn't weigh too much. Uh, it's made out of basically 3 16 which is what this is. And uh, I buy this strap like this so that I can get multiple pieces and different things that we do out of it. So. By no means do you need to have strap this big. You can use basically any material. Um, I'm just going to use this one as a template. 
I do have a uh, paper template that I've made in the past, but for this one I figured we'd just draw around and uh, get a basic. Uh, also, while this segment's going, I figured I'd use this opportunity to talk a little bit more about the shop fire. Uh, as much as it sucks and as tragic as it was, um, there was uh, a little bit of silver lining. There were some things that we was able to find that uh, as a family, you know, as you're digging through rubble, it's the little things that you find that really kind of uplift. And uh, there wasn't much, by no means. The fire, as you can see from the images that I show, was extremely devastating. And, uh, but, like I said, we're going to move on and, and uh, make the best of it. One of the more unfortunate aspects of that fire was my dad, from my grandfather, had received for his fifth birthday a 1967 Bonanza mini chopper. And uh, I believe he got it from a dealership here in town um, in the 60s. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure that my dad will comment and correct me. But uh, he uh, got it for his fifth birthday from my late grandfather. And we all grew up riding this Bonanza mini chopper. And it was quite rare. There's not very many of them left. Uh, however, I dug the frame out of the rubble and uh, I'm going to attempt to try to put it back together. It is a little bent and uh, one of the pegs at one point in time had been brazed on. It melted off but I was able to find it. And uh, So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, my dad's truck and Harley was both in the in the shop and they burned down. Um, they were both covered by insurance and gap. Unfortunately, my grandmother's vehicles that were underneath the carport only had liability. They were both older vehicles, but they were her daily transportation. Her and my dad's, actually. He was driving my late grandfather's truck while his truck was in the shop uh, for repair. So all around, just really tragic. But uh, back to this, now that I've got this drawn out, um, basically gonna cut it out with an angle grinder. Doesn't have to be real pretty. You can shape everything with the forge. And uh, basically I'll start here and then uh, just do some rough cuts. We can refine everything later. So anyway, I've talked enough. Promise I won't do it anymore throughout the video. Follow along and let's get started. <laughs> 